I was supposed to be here at 9 a.m. this morning and it's 11 o'clock at night. I have meetings tomorrow um, here in New York City. We've got a four city week. And this week, we're gonna talk about career progression. How can you move forward in your career? What are some tips and tricks to try to accelerate that career progression? And is it really important? So uh, let's get this week going, shall we? All right, so in public accounting, there's typically five levels. Associate, senior, manager, senior manager, director, and part. Some of it depends on what line you're in. So the typical path to partner is, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 15 years. I don't know what the statistics are for PwC. I don't know what the statistics are for other firms. Um, the, the path to partner for law firms can often be typically shorter. Some of it depends on the type of partnership, whether you're an equity partner, a non-equity partner. The key, in my view, is not how long it takes you ultimately to make partner, but how quickly can you master the skills of whatever level you are today and put yourself in the position to start to master the skills of that next level. A lot of people focus on how much time it takes to get promoted to the next level. And what I tell the people that work with me is that if you're interested in making partner, if you want to be a VP, if you want to, whatever that ultimate level is, that it's going to take time and there's no fixed amount of time that is appropriate for any one person. Each person is going to have their own journey. What is the most important is making sure that you enjoy the journey. If you're only driven by ambition and promotion and that next dollar, then you're not doing it right. The first secret to career progression, <clears throat> and I'm not sure this is really a big secret, is, oh, first of all, I, I made it to Columbus, Ohio. Got in late last night. Man, every flight I've been on this week has been delayed. Whatever business you're in, there are certain technical skills that you need to master. And the more quickly you can learn those, the, the better you're gonna be. So, and that requires some effort outside of work. You gotta read, you gotta study, and hopefully you're interested in it because if you're not interested in it, go back to the beginning of the video, you're not enjoying the journey. So make sure this is something that you're interested in and, and you're gonna know what you're, what you're interested in. I, I need to go to the bathroom with a mirror to get my tie tied. Four flights this week, four delays. I'm in the Columbus airport, I'm two and a half hours delayed. I'm gonna go get something to eat, kill a little bit of time. After you've mastered the skills at the level you are, if you want to progress to the next level, and this is, becomes more and more important as you move up within the organization, you have to find somebody else that can do the job that you're doing today. Jack Welsh, Straight From the Gut, is a great book. People ask me what books I like and what books have influenced me, that's one of them. Jack Welsh always believed that you should have people that work for you that you think can do your job better than you can and not to be intimidated by somebody and not to be intimidated by somebody who could potentially do your job better than you can so find that person train them develop them grow them your career progression is dependent on the progression of others
it's okay if you don't want to progress. In other words, it's okay that not everybody can be CEO. Not everybody wants to be CEO. I appreciate as much as I love my job and as passionate as I am about being a partner at PwC, that not everybody wants to be partner. And that's okay. And so as you think about your journey and your career and your career progression, understand what's best for you. What puts you in a position to be your happiest? And I have members of my team that have a tremendous amount of ambition, that want to be partner, that frankly want to potentially run the firm. And then I also have many, many contributing members of my team that do not have that desire whatsoever. As a leader, my job, my goal is to take the most, is to bring the most out of everybody, irrespective of what their particular career ambitions are. First flight of the week that might actually get in on time. Fingers crossed. All right. Um, so I'm in our Kansas City office today. One thing that you probably didn't know about me, foosball is a passion of mine. I will challenge any subscriber to a game of foosball anywhere in the country that I may show up. Um, we'll figure out what the stakes are, but they would be awesome. Last words of wisdom on career progression, and I can't stress this enough. My mentors, if they did watch this vlog, which they probably don't, would tell me that I wasn't the best at this as I was progressing through my career. Be patient. If there's one thing that you've learned from watching the Doug McConey vlog, I hope, is that a career is a journey. There are many different paths. Look at the Caleb Newquist vlog. There are many different ways to ultimately get where, where you belong. What that end point is is going to be different and unique for all of you so be patient and enjoy the journey stay tuned next week for another exciting edition of the doug mcconey vlog